Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Suci and today I would like to visit the Tsunami Museum located in Bandar Aceh. This is the view around Bandar Aceh City on the way to the Tsunami Museum. After arriving at the Tsunami Museum, it is unfortunate that the museum is currently closed due to the pandemic and renovation. So, I need to ask permission from the administrator and security to take a video outside the museum building. Then, I was accompanied by the security to walk around. This is the museum management office. And this is the landscape element around the museum. This is the parking area in the forecourt of the museum. Beside the parking, there is an NGO car relic that helped distribute aid during the tsunami in Aceh. In this museum, there is also a cafeteria and prayer house. So, today is the second day of site visit after the museum reopened. This is the lobby when entering the Tsunami Museum. After that, we will go through the space of here. There is flowing water on the left and right side of this hallway, which is symbolized as tsunami water. The philosophy is for visitors to feel the fear and tense atmosphere felt by the Aceh tsunami victims. After passing the space of here, we will enter the memorial hall. The philosophy of this room is to recall back the memories of the 2004 tsunami disaster. And now we enter the Sumur Doa. There are 4,000 carvings of the names of tsunami victims. And on the top of the room is written the word of wall which called the light of God. This long passage is called the space of confusion. It illustrates the confusion of the Achenese people after they survived the tsunami. They were confused about how to face the future because they lost their belongings and family. This peace bridge interpret as peace between the Gerakan Aceh Merdeka and Indonesia which has conflict for about 30 years. Now we enter the temporary exhibition space. There are collections of painting and photographs show before and after the tsunami. It is called a temporary exhibition space because the display can be moved anytime. And now we enter the tsunami exhibition room. This room display a replica of how the situation during the earthquake and tsunami. Previously, this room also contains various objects raised by the tsunami wave donated by the Achenese community. However, these items are temporarily displaced during the renovation and will display again after the renovation complete. These are 54 stone monuments engraved with the names of countries involved in existing Aceh during the tsunami. Then we will come across an amphitheater used for specific events. And this is a car that was damaged during the tsunami. So this is the view of the parking area behind the museum. On 11 December 2020, I went to Balai Arsip National to get the Tsunami Museum site plan because all the museum data is only stored in this building. Gagas oleh orang-orang Aceh, terutama putra-putra Aceh sendiri yang ingin mengenang uh, bahwa musim di Aceh memang pernah terjadi tsunami dan uh, tidak hanya untuk masyarakat Aceh saja pembelajaran tersebut tapi untuk seluruh masyarakat di dunia. Jadi semua bisa datang kemari, semua bisa merasakan apa yang dirasakan oleh masyarakat Aceh termasuk juga proses-proses dalam uh, pemulihannya sampai dengan Aceh seperti sekarang ini. The challenges is, on the first day of conducting the field study on 8 December 2020, the Aceh Tsunami Museum was closed due to COVID and renovation, so I can only take videos outside the building. However, on 1st January 2021, the museum was reopened but only for certain spaces, so I did the second field study visit on 18 January 2020.